Bilston's home. <laughs> There's always something happening in Bilston. Businesses in Bilston are very resilient. With Bilston, you know what you get, they, they tell you like it is. I actually opened on Halloween last year, and I think I opened on the Saturday, and then on the Thursday, we went back into lockdown. Obviously, it was gutting, but it was either you just stop and give up or just carry on and just do the best you can. It's obviously been difficult, as it has for everybody, um, but I've been using social media a lot, um, Facebook, Instagram. I think I just tend to try and be positive, and hard times never last, do you? They essentially look forward to the good times. <laughs> The last 12 months um, have been quite chaotic, um, I think for, for many businesses um, across the high street and, and for ourselves um, due to COVID and, and the lockdowns and for our team to have to reprogram the way we work and you know, serve our customers here at the store. For, for ourselves as a technology shop, um, it's been very disappointing to know that the government cannot see us as an essential shop in the 21st century. And um, reason being is so many people are working from home nowadays and they need their laptops, their mobile phones, um, you know, repaired and up to speed so that they can continue to, to work. Financially, as a company, I think just like many other businesses here on the high street, it has had a huge impact on us. Um, but I think again, we've had to be quite optimistic, um, you know, and we're lucky that we have had some financial support, um, as well as being able to input some funds into the business ourselves. Um, it's been very difficult because at the moment we're having to run by a click and collect service, which is not really allowing um, our customers to come in so freely. It would be nice to see you know, some of our regular customers where we can have them in the store and have like a, a free open chat with them you know, to show them sort of the, the new sort of technology that we've, we've bought into the store. Um, so it's going to be very exciting um, and I hope this is sort of the, the last of this turbulent time, can we say, uh, for, for many of us um, for, for due to COVID-19. This, this last lockdown has been very difficult. Fortunately, we have a lot of help from the government. We have a lot of support from the council in form of grants. I think if these grants weren't uh, around, we would be seriously in financial trouble. And also, I think Wolverhampton Council has um, frozen rents for anyone who's not trading, which I know some councils haven't done, which has been a great help. So, yeah, uh, it just helps us survive and it, it gives us a chance to sort of open up and just still have our businesses there. Oh, I just feel positive, I feel confident. Uh, there's a lot of houses being built in Bilston, the urban village, so I think the future for us is, is good. Traders have adapted that to contest as payment. Uh, also, they want to create an online presence for themselves as well, so I've been having to change the way we trade. So yeah, and future for me is uh, very, very, um, I'm optimistic and just looking forward to coming back and seeing all my regular, regular customers again. Traders, we don't just serve, we actually ask customers how they are and it just might, it might, might make somebody's day. It's not all about the money, obviously that's the top, the, the bottom line is the money, but we're more than just traders, we like to talk to our customers and just check on how they are in day. So we're just saying come back, we're open and we're ready to embrace you and just, uh, as I say, look forward to a really good, good positive future ahead. Up until Christmas we were doing reasonably well because, uh, you know, there's still a fair, fair few people about. But the lockdown that happened in after Christmas has had a big effect on our trade. Obviously, people have heeded the warning about staying in, which they have done. And I suppose they've had home deliveries and what have you. So obviously, the footfall has dropped uh, significantly in the market. And it, it has been a struggle, but, you know, we keep on going. We went back, uh, the uh, I think it was the first weekend in May we went back. We was asked to go back by the, the council. And uh, we turned up on the first Saturday in May. And uh, when we got there, we were surprised to find that was the only store that was actually open on that particular day. I've done it for 45 years. I've been there since I've been 16 years of age and um, I've done it all, all my life. It's a good market, it's, but I would say it's probably one of the best in the country without a doubt. You know, I mean, it's, it's up there with the best. It's been good to us over the years as a family. We've done well there. People, you know, you build up a relationship with the people. They like to come out and have a chat with the, for the, with the, um, the traders. When we get, you know, full market again, hopefully things will start to turn around in it. You know, pick up again. It might take a few months to get it back to where it was, but we've got to sort of, you know, grim about it for a bit and just keep going, like, you know. But uh, I'm sure, I'm sure the good times will come back down there. The last 12 months, as for us and everybody else, has been just um, unbelievable, to be honest with you. I mean, I don't think anybody could have predicted what we've just been through, and um, my heart goes out to anybody who's lost loved ones because I think there's nothing more important than that. 
And um, fortunately for us, our family and our elderly parents have all managed to stay safe. So to us, so that is a blessing, the biggest blessing of all. But from a business perspective, it's just been so fragmented and, you know, so, so uncertain. And we've been given various um, things that we needed to do. And we've tried to adhere to all of those things. And then, unfortunately, the numbers got high again. And then we were sort of stopped dead in our tracks. So, you know, as far as that goes now, on lockdown three, we're hoping for the best for spring and the new year. F financially, I mean, we have been given some grants and they've, assist they've assisted us so far. However, you know, the utility bills and the um, internet and all the other outgoings have still remained the same. We we've just been hanging on by the skin of our teeth. My, my hopes for 2021 is that just that the, um, the numbers stay low, people use their common sense to try and adhere to basic rules and we might see the back of this. So Bilston was a very bustling little town and like other towns in Britain it's really felt the recession and the double dip but fortunately we know there's a lot of people working behind the scenes to make it really grow again and they've built hundreds and hundreds of houses in the town so moving forward I'm sure Bilston will still you know, live up to its roots of being a, a busy uh, market town. Tell me what the last 12 months has been like. Uh, to start with, um, I'll be quite honest, a little bit depressing. Didn't know what was happening, bills wise and stuff, but obviously luckily I'd put a bit of money aside because we'd heard it was coming. Then, yeah, then it was all, oh, get used to it. Lovely summer, no hot weather. Then, then you know, like everybody, you do your garden, um, and then it was back to work, then off again, then, then now look back again for another month, and then off again, and then that's it. I think a lot of people are getting used to kind of being at home more, and that's their new norm. Um, not myself, really. I think we had the grants come through, which helped a lot. There's been times, there has been times when, like, when's the next, what's the next bill coming out? Where's the next money coming from? What's going on? So. It's been a bit awkward. It's a bit testing and clients and new clients, they're even more testing because some of them, some of them don't understand that, you know, there's rules and regulations that I have to, have to adhere to and I can't do these certain things. Um, but you can't, I'm constantly getting questions. When are you back? When are you back? Like, the last 12 months has been a real challenge for Bilston. We've got a lot of independents who've been here a number of years and fingers crossed we're going to come out of it the other side. The help that they've had from the government uh, has been a real boost because I think without it some of them wouldn't have come through this unscathed and be able to reopen uh, after lockdown. We've got so many things going for us in Bilston with the market, uh, indoor and outdoor, we've got the free parking, we're on a metro tram line, um, there's so many things that when we come through lockdown out the other side um, there's a lot of reasons for people to come and shop in Bilston. It's a town with lots of character and, and I think we'll see that in the next few months.